Hello. So today we're going to look at how we can leverage Azure for user authentication when connecting with AnyConnect with Meraki. So we're going to start in Azure, Enterprise Applications, and we're going to click on New Application. And from here, we're going to search for AnyConnect. Once we've found this, we'll click on this. And we're going to give this a slightly more friendly name. Meraki MX AnyConnect. Azure, for example. And when we've done this, we can click on Create. We're going to click on Single Sign-On and SAML. And now we're going to go back to our Meraki dashboard to get some information. We'll go to SD-WAN and Client VPN. And we're going to go to any connect settings and we're going to copy our host name that you see there. We're going to go back to Azure and we're going to edit our basic SAML configuration. We're going to add an identifier, an entity ID. We're going to paste this in. But what we're also now going to do is populate the end of this URL with some more information. It gives us an indication below what we actually need to type in. So SAML forward slash SP forward slash metadata, forward slash SAML. We're also going to click on reply URL and we're going to put in that host name again. As you can see, we actually need to put HTTPS at the front of this. Once we've done that, we'll click Save. And for the next bit, we're just going to get some information from Azure. We'll scroll down and we're going to download our Federation Metadata XML. We are now going to continue our AnyConnect configuration. So we're going to scroll down to Authentication and Policy and we're going to choose SAML. We will now upload our SAML metadata file that we downloaded from Azure. We'll paste in our AnyConnect server URL, which we got earlier. And once we've done that, we will click Save. And that's our configuration done for the moment in Dashboard. So we're going to go back to Azure now and we'll click on Users and Groups because we actually need to assign some users or groups to this application. So I'm going to select a single user for the purposes of this demo, and I'm going to look for myself. And there I am. So we'll just select me, and we will click Assign. And that's our users and groups assigned to this application. So the next bit is going to depend on which MDM vendor that you're going to use, because we need to provision our devices with this information. Now I've gone ahead in Meraki Systems Manager and already created a configuration. I'm going to go up here and you'll see that I've given this a connection name, Home AnyConnect. We've got our server in here, which is our dynamic DNS entry. We've got the connection type of AnyConnect and everything else I've kind of left blank. I'm going to go now to my device and actually assign this connection to this device. I do this by just tagging the device, which is really straightforward in Meraki Systems Manager. We'll just hit our tag and click Save. So let's go to our device. I'm going to open any connect and click on Connect. This is going to take me to my Azure login. So I'll type in my password and username. We'll open our authenticator application, whatever that is. Type in my code. Click on Verify. and we accept our little prompt and you can see we are now connected. Thank you.